Guys, what are you doing? The previous episode was my first episode of this new series but the views were so low spread this video to your friend to your family or even to your ex yeah just kidding <laughs> not to your ex this time oh it's about a korean celebrity <laughs> I don't know why, but I love this scammer's story. I've been experiencing so many things from scammers. Because I was stupid. No, it's because they are bad. I'll continue this series, so even if you don't like it, I cannot handle it because I love this one. So I'm trying to upload this video every Tuesday or Wednesday. So let's see. Well, so today's horror story is from one of my subscribers. I get lots of emails every day. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay, so I have my email address and it's for my business, but somehow I get lots of emails from my subscribers. I got this email last year around October and he's an immigrant. He lives in UK and he has a great family two children like seven and eight years old and beautiful wife so he's super happy with his family <laughs> but then one korean celebrity destroyed almost destroyed his happy family he's that famous korean actor ji chang -uk. oh my god i couldn't believe it what ji chang -uk? And he's super famous, super popular, of, of course in Korea too, but I found that he is more popular and more famous in other countries, especially China. So he said, my wife is becoming a victim of this Korean actor Ji tang -wook. Oh wow. And he has lots of different accounts on Facebook and Instagram. Well, that's what he said. Don't you think this is weird? Because he has his official Instagram and Facebook. But of course, he's a celebrity and usually celebrities, they have their personal account as I know. And it's a secret, you know? They don't really say that, oh, this is my personal account and they randomly just request. They don't do that because their image is really important and their private life, personal life is also important. This guy, he said, I am Ji tang -uk and I have yeah, other accounts because, you know, I'm famous. So I have my personal accounts. And then on Facebook, he messaged to my subscriber's wife. Yeah, and his wife was a big fan of Ji tang -uk. So his wife was asking to divorce from him. <laughs> well, something like this actually happens in this world. So yeah, he asked me help and he said, oh, you know, he's in that in entertainment company called Glorious Entertainment Company. And honestly, I don't know who's behind of Ji tang because I don't think Ji tang is gonna have that actual accounts, you know, social accounts. And he's gonna message my wife 24 seven because he's active on Facebook like 24 seven. And he all the time messages her, but I don't think he has time to do that because he's like a super famous star. And I totally agree with him. Just imagine guys, at first I couldn't understand first, why is it talking and messaging in English? Of course, I'm gonna do that, but Ji tang -uk, I don't even know he can speak English. So I searched some information and then I found this YouTube video. No, coach. No, I can get a serum. I can recover. I'll do my everything. Okay. So, I guess his English is not bad. I mean, his pronunciation and everything is much better than other Korean actors, I'd say. But English is not our first language, so it's really hard to speak English if you're Korean. But the second thing that I'm curious is that, why? Why is he requesting friends to random people? And why does he have lots of different social media accounts? Well, you know, it's obvious, it's fake, it's not him. <laughs> yeah, guys, please do not, do not believe these people. Yeah, Ji tang -uk, he has no time to do that, okay? Maybe he has time, but he's not gonna do that, maybe. But this is another story, but actually, some famous stars in Korea, they DM'd 
my friends and they were the actual their accounts so yeah sometimes sometimes that happens if you are really 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 pretty well that never happened to me but <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not saying that you are not pretty but yeah usually it doesn't happen okay okay so here's the thing i mean if it was just conversation then maybe okay he stole the photo and he was pretending like he was pretending like a famous korean actor ji chang yeah and they fell in love okay all good but the thing is he of course asked money to her <laughs> so he said oh i'm gonna open my um own company in korea and i need some fund so it'll be great if you can help me so he started talking about money yeah always they first they say something really nice romantic things they're gonna say like i love you so much and i want to be in a serious relationship with you he actually told his wife that oh i want to live with you in korea that's what he said <sighs> how can you believe that she was totally blinded and i understand yeah you are actually not stupid these people are really bad right and he said gina we have two small children eight and seven years old and we're a muslim family and my wife wants to divorce from me and i really want to save my family and he said i need your help because you have your um youtube channel and maybe you can contact to korean police but i don't know anyone from korea so can you help me that's what he said i replied him like okay it seems like this is 100 percent scam and you know this person is not actually ji tanguk of course and this is actually a serious problem to him because he's also a victim right i'm sorry ji tanguk and his fans yeah i'm so sorry okay i cannot actually do anything because i don't know if this is true or not so i think it'll be better you just directly contact to his entertainment company glorious entertainment company because it's like they're harming Ji Tanguk's image. So why don't you just email them? And maybe if they think this is serious, then they are gonna report to the police. He said, okay, thank you. Then I'm gonna do that. So I let him know the address, email address of the Glorious Entertainment Company. And of course he sent his email, but he didn't get any reply. And then um, a few days later, I got a glad news from this guy. And he said, Oh, Gina, it's good news. Thanks for helping me. <laughs> so my wife and Ji Tanguk, of course, it's not Ji Tanguk, but they chatted for three months and they are finally over. He said, my sister is so smart and she made lots of different accounts and she uh, tried to contact this guy. He was so confused because there were lots of women and then he sent a wrong message to his wife. So she finally uh, believed that okay this guy is not ji tanguk and yeah so his sister she saved the family let's see some other stories well do you think did you find someone stealing my photos i hope that's not happening but i am not that like really 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 pretty so i don't think no one is gonna do that but if you find me some in some other social media with different account then that's not me okay another email well this one i found it's very strange i also got this email from another subscriber okay this person is also ah oh, this time the victim is a woman and she is i think she loves korean culture and she emailed me like this okay actually i don't know where to start at some point i really wanted to share my experience with you but i'm also very hesitant well let me start my story so i met this guy in facebook of course facebook guys please 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 i know yeah, facebook and instagram they're from the same company but i don't know what is happening especially on facebook and he said oh my name is chong that's weird his name is chong maybe that's his last name yeah anyway my name is chong and i'm from busan so he had all the specific stories about him i'm from busan and i have a little brother he's around 20 or 18 years old and i have my dog and his name is dart 
I, star, not start. Yeah, his name is Star, and I have my father, and he's doing his own business from like a Honda Motor, and you know he's quite successful businessman. I am, and I am an international student, and I'm studying in U.S. And sometimes I go to South Korea and I help my father's business. So it sounds like, whoa, professional, whoa, he's from a good family, right? Oh, it's not a dog, he's, that's a cat, anyways. Okay, they met in Facebook and he gave her his KakaoTalk ID. If you don't know what KakaoTalk is, it's like WhatsApp, the yeah, Korean version, the biggest messenger. So he gave his KakaoTalk ID and then he said, oh, talk there. And then they talked every time. And the thing is that he was always active in Facebook. No, you know, you can see that, right? He was 24 7, he was active in Facebook. And then, what? <gasps> wow, so they actually messaged over a year. Not just a few weeks or a few months, over a year. Oh my gosh. Then she must really felt like, you know, love. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Yeah. And she sent me lots of screenshots. Yeah, see that, guys? It's this guy. But you know, this is not the real his face. These photos are stolen. Uh, whenever she tries to call him or video chat, then he didn't accept that and he didn't message to her. But he was always active in Facebook, so she, said, uh, she thought that it's so weird. And then suddenly he said, oh, let's stop talking and then he just ghosted her. It happens a lot. I don't know what's wrong with Korean people, but we ghost people a lot. Yeah, I know. And one day she got a photo from her friend and she asked her like, don't you think this is Chong? And you know what guys, this person was a totally different person. So he's a YouTuber and he has two cafes. Okay, he runs these two cafes and he is a YouTuber and <laughs> he's the same guy, the same picture, but whole different identity. And his name is Chini. So I was trying to contact him to yeah check if this is true or not. But then I commented his YouTube, but then it seems he didn't check that message yet. So I don't really know if that photo is stolen from him or another person, but it seems she said, yeah, that's the case. So he's the real guy. And she also said, Blow, I sent some screenshots of our conversation in Kakao Talk and I feel so ashamed of myself for being a fool, but I guess some stories need to be shared. I felt really bad because she said, I'm so ashamed for being a fool. But girl, please, you are not a fool. That guy is a bad guy. This case, he actually didn't ask anything like, money or dating i don't know so what is the purpose that's like a mystery well maybe this person just needed attention i got another email this time the victim is a man a boy and this is worse actually so he met this girl through Meef. i don't know if you guys know this app it's like a language exchange app but also like a dating app and they started talking on instagram well, Instagram. And actually, I got that Instagram account of her. And there, was, and there was actually no photos. I don't really know. But anyways, she said she's a Korean girl and there were photos of her and she looked cute, right? Mm -hmm. She looked cute. She was really good at controlling this guy and he fell in love with her. It, it always starts from this, right? So he really fell in love with this girl and then she said, Oh, actually my mom is sick. Bad, bad, bad guys. <sighs> my mom is sick, so can you actually transfer money to me? And then, you know, he was also very fell in love with her and he sent 10,000 US dollars to her bank account because he trusted her. And, she and he also said, please don't say something bad to her. But how can... how? how? <laughs> yeah, I want to say something really, really bad to her. I know that I was wrong, but now who cares? 
Well, if she asked money directly, then I would give her money. What? But you know she's a scammer. And then, wow. So he didn't really care about the pictures and the, all the bad things. He's so blinded. Yeah, here he tried to call her and whatever he was trying to call her, she didn't accept that. Yeah, that's the common thing, I guess. So guys, you have to check their face, real face by video chat or something. But you know what, guys, you have to know that they can actually fake their video call too. Like they can show their short videos from, yeah, stolen videos, right? So you cannot actually believe anything online. And he was so shocked because he found the real girl's profile. And she was of course not that person. He and his friends, they hacked the account. Wow, you are good at that. How can you hack that Instagram account? And then they said, um, he and his friends, they are also horrified because she did the same thing to many boys. And all the boys right now, they started hating Korean people and Korean. I feel so bad guys. I feel so bad because we don't really know that person is actually Korean and they just stole the photos. I mean that person can be also Korean but I don't really know. Yeah who knows. And I felt really bad because I could know that he's still suffering a lot not because of the money because his hurt you know he has still has that feelings for her i feel really bad and the common things they said was that i am so ashamed and i am such a fool something like that so guys i really want to say that this is not your fault and you are not stupid these people these scammers are really bad you are not the bad person okay yeah that's the end of the horror story so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any things that you want to share then please share it in the comment section and please subscribe and please like and share this video with your friends and family and your ex so see you next time bye bye